US-led West's tank supplies to Kiev regime may spark World War III. Western tank supplies to the Zelensky regime in Ukraine could lead to World War III. So it is time to talk some sense into the Americans and conclude a sustainable peace deal with Russia. French economist Pierre de Gaulle, grandson of France's esteemed ex-president General Charles de Gaulle, has said, Speaking at the roundtable conference devoted to the memory of the Second World War in Russia and France and in the run-up to the 80th anniversary of the victory in the Battle of Stalingrad, de Gaulle noted that the West's decision to supply Ukraine with heavy tanks raised the risk of unleashing World War III since it would provoke the supply of even more powerful weapons and weapons of even greater range. This is the abyss on the edge of which we are standing, he added. I would like to say this. The time is ripe to make peace, to reason with the Americans and to reach a stable, firm and lasting peace with Russia. It is time for France, its president, Emmanuel Macron, to recall that they are a great independent nation and their mission is to play a worthy role. Also, it is necessary to provide Russia with serious guarantees, de Gaulle believes. He also noted that France had become unfriendly to Russia because of the short-sighted policies and erroneous decisions by its establishment. France blindly follows US policies. The French no longer trust their politicians, who have discredited themselves. They oppose consensus, he continued. I am outraged to hear the French president say that the beginning of a war is a test for the EU. We know that there is a tremendous number of people who are suffering, he maintained. According to de Gaulle, the supply of new Western weapons to Ukraine won't be able to have a decisive impact on the course of the conflict, nor will the Ukrainian army be able to influence the development of the situation either. These Western policies need to be reined in. Unfortunately, Western politicians do not realize this. They are trying to make us think that they are in control of the situation. This is a lie. They do not understand either the history or the consequences, he concluded. Chairman of the Russian Historical Society, director of the Foreign Intelligence Service, Sergei Narishkin, handed de Gaulle a copy of the photograph of General Charles de Gaulle made during a visit in the Soviet Union in 1966. Thank you very much, dear Mr. de Gaulle, for your open, honest and, should I say, courageous statement and for your firm and highly principled position. Let me present you with one historical photograph in memory of our meeting today. This is a copy of the photograph that is kept at the Museum of Modern History of Russia. The photograph highlights the memorable, already historic visit that your esteemed grandfather, President Charles de Gaulle, paid to the Soviet Union in 1966, Narishkin said. 